hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another episode 3 video we are trying today the infamous star wars outlaws the game is so badly optimized that even this frame generation won't be able to save this game very much as you can see right now my fps hovering around only 20 and 30s i am using an rtx 2060 and the setting i'm using right now is 1080p with uh, dlss on quality and graphics is set on medium uh, you can see here like everything is on medium or maybe some things are on low you can turn this them off so yeah uh, but uh, as you can see the fps is very low like only 20s and 30s so some people have uh, tried to install the dlss frame generation in this game and uh, yeah it worked but uh, there is ghosting and flickering and screen shaking which uh, i will uh, throw up on your screen as we speaking right now so yeah we're also going to fix that and enable the dlss frame generation so yeah let's uh, begin this video without any delay uh we will be needing these three files this mod is right now only compatible with uh, rtx mods like rtx gpus the gtx and amd gpus are not supported yet so yeah but it will be available on soon i think so stay tuned for that one so meanwhile uh, i will show everything the uh, process is going to be a little bit longer than expected so do try to stick on so first of all we will be needing this dlss enabler latest version which is uh, 3.02 beta 6 so we're going to install it as usual we do so click next next then we go to the installation directory of the game outlaws where the outlaws run outlaws plus ext is located we're going to click here and copy this path then remove it then paste the path then click next and install this dll version because this is only compatible only this version is compatible right now and then we click on install reg files because we will be needing this if you have used uh uniscalar before so we click next install now the frame generation has been installed there is one additional step though which is uh, double click on the disable signature override uh, as i told in my previous video that while using dlss enabler you need to disable signature and while using uh, uniscalar type of mod uh, you will need to enable signature so yeah now frame generation has installed but the graphics will flicker so to fix the graphics and text texture character flickering we will be needing these two zips so we're going to extract these two and after extracting uh, we will be making another folder which i will just name files and inside that file folder uh, we're going to copy everything from those two zips so this is the first zip pdx pom3 this one so we're going to copy this and also we're going to copy this one shoulder disable and lens distortion why we're doing it because this game have some effect of lens distortion and some or this a chromatic aberration which uh, prevents the game's dlss frame generation uh, to fix the character flickering so yeah we're going to disable that by uh, systemly so now we have pasted everything in one folder we're going to copy everything now and gonna go to the installation directory of the game now we're going to paste everything here now after pasting uh, we will be need to run this pfpmatic3.exe so we're going to run it now you will see a um, small software will open up now what we need to do there is two file two path iso file and patch so for iso file we will be selecting the games exe so yeah let's go to the same directory again so after uh, locating the games installation directory you can't see anything so you need to click on here cd images then click on all files uh, then scroll down and you will find the exe file where is it uh, in there uh, outlaws.exe you need to select the outlaws.exe then click on open now for the patch file we will be selecting that uh, show disable and less distortion this one 
so we're going to select this one and click on open now what we need to do just click on apply do not tick this apply undo uh, this will revert the patches like if you want to disable this mod then you click on this and apply but for now just click on apply and you will be done this is all patch supplied and burn us to the cd it will show a notification now we're gonna go back inside the game and see how it's fixed and how much fps we're getting so yeah let's dive into the game now while the game loads up uh, i want to tell you another thing which is uh, you can also copy my games exe uh, if you cannot uh, patch the file or if you find it too hard to use the patch my game version is right now 1.1.2 so if you does have this 1.1.2 version you can just back up your uh, .exe file and you can just uh, paste my files in your folder and the game will also work because my exe has already been patched get microsoft xbox game pass at 750 rupees per year and the ultimate game pass including all the third party launchers like ea play ubi soft and blizzard and others at 14.99 per year all right uh, we are back inside the game uh, you can see game is a little bit smoother than before uh, also there is no character ghosting or flickering anymore so i just want to make sure that frame gen is working properly so yeah, let's go to setting the game is running from hard disk so it uh, may seem some texture bug some time somewhere so yeah do not mind that the yeah, frame generation is right now on and you can see there is no character ghosting or uh, she screen shape or any kind of uh, weird issues anymore the game is running fully stable but yeah the performance is still shit the developers need to fix this as soon as possible but yeah this will be it for this video now if this helps you you can subscribe to the channel and this mod is not available yet on gtx and amd so yeah uh, try to wait for that one too uh, i'll be making that video when it comes and i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers star wars outlaws offline activation is starting at just 400 indian rupees wukong at just 350 rupees along with all the new and old games and windows 10 and 11 serial key the stock is limited so hurry